Most people will buy the Ford Flex not for its seven-seater versatility, its impressive technology, or even its comfortable ride. They'll buy it for the way that it looks. And that's no bad thing, because right now, this is one of the most impressive vehicles that Ford makes. This top-of-the-line Flex Limited EcoBoost costs a not insignificant $44,000, and by the time you add some options, you can easily see that soar to over $50,000. If you're on a tighter budget, then maybe consider the entry-level SE, which starts at just a smidgen under $31,000. You can either have seven seats or ditch the middle row in favour of two captain's chairs which slide and recline. Those middle seats also fold and tip forward in one motion to give you access to the rear and all the seats are surprisingly spacious even if like me you're a bit on the tall side. Cargo capacity is actually quite low for this class but thanks to the Flex's boxy shape you'll make the most of it. Inside the cabin materials are of a high quality and this limited version features my Ford Touch with touchscreen commands for the satellite navigation, the telephone and the audio. We're not huge fans of touch because it tends to bury functions deep in complicated menus, but at least this latest version is faster at processing your commands and these twin USB ports are super convenient. You can also get adaptive cruise controls, even a function to let the Flex park itself. It's not short of safety gadgets either and the Insurance Institute named it a top safety pick. The standard engines are 3.5 litre V6, acceleration is adequate and the fuel economy is respectable with EPA ratings of 18 miles per gallon in the city, 25 on the highway or 20 combined. And if you live in the snow belt, well why not choose the all-wheel drive version? Whichever flex you choose you can be assured of a comfortable ride and it also feels pretty secure when you reach the vents. As family vehicles go, the Flex is a bit of a curiosity. Minivans such as the Honda Odyssey and the Toyota Sienna offer convenient sliding doors and will also seat eight, as will SUVs like the GMC Arcadia and the Chevy Traverse, while the Dodge Durango offers more versatility for off-roading. But none of these vehicles have the style and the panache of the Flex. Go on, dare to be different. For more information on the Ford Flex and its rivals, go to edmunds.com.